Gen 1 Sunday Morning Breaking News. I am reporter Pastor Hannah, and I am here to share the news with you guys. Last time we talked about Prophet Micah and Prophet Amos. Prophet Micah said we have to choose to do what is right. And Prophet Amos said we have to worship God wholeheartedly, sincerely. And do you guys remember the four hearts that we talked about last time during Lovely Gems? It was about worshiping God with actions, words, feelings, and your thoughts. So as we go into praise time, make sure to have all of these four things ready so that we can worship God wholeheartedly. Before we dive in, I actually have special guests to introduce to you guys. So before we go into worship, wait for our special guests because they have great news to share with you guys. I'll see you guys later. Hi Gem 1, welcome to Gem 1 Breaking News! Here we are, having two new pastors as our special guests! Ooh, who could it be? We're going to call out our awesome, handsome pastor. It is Pastor David! Yay! Ooh. Pastor David, good to see you! Hey Pastor Hannah! Alright, we have one more pastor. He is so sweet. We like teddy bear. Oh, it is Pastor Chad. Oh, hello, Gem One. Hi, Gem One. You guys, we're here not only for Gem One service, but mm -hmm. actually for our lovely Gems. It's for Wednesday and for Friday night. I want all of you guys to join us because it's a new and fun and exciting way for us to worship God, right? Wor worship, worship God. God. Yes. Pastor David, do you mm -hmm. have anything to say? Yes, Gen 1 Kids. We have Wednesday service. We have so fun games and crafts. Please come. If you're not in involved in Wednesday and Friday service, you won't miss it. Right. Please come. Pastor Chill. Yes, we're preparing so much with the prayer to make it fun and so you can get blessed. So come join us Wednesday, Friday, lovely jams. All right. Yeah. Before we go into prayer time, let's all put our hands together. Let's close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for our wonderful Sunday morning. We're learning about different prophets and our theme for this month is breaking news and as we go over the word of god help us understand and live according to your word we love you and in jesus' name we pray amen, amen. come on now let's open up the book come on now Take a good long look and see God has given us all we need to be free. It's about you.
counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. I am counting on, I am counting on God. Welcome back, Gem One. Let's open up our Bible to Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 to 17. Again, Zephaniah chapter 3, verses 14 to 17. All right, are you guys ready? Awesome. Pay attention and see what it says in the Bible because This is what we're going to address during our breaking news sermon time. All right, let's read it together in count of three. One, two, three. Sing, daughter Zion. Shout aloud, Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, daughter Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy, the Lord The King of Israel is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you. The mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Amen. Hey friends, I have to admit, I totally lost track of time on this vlog. I couldn't fall asleep at all. I don't know if it's the scary movie I watched last night or the spoiled ice cream. Ugh, this was not a night to be me at all. What do you guys do when you can't sleep and have a really, really tough time? Do you call your parents, call a friend, or read a Bible story? That's always the number one option, but it's kind of like two in the morning here, and I really don't want to wake them. I'm a big girl, so hmm, what's another option? What say you, Grub? Good idea, Grub. Let's listen to a Bible story. Wait, did I just talk to my fish? I have got to be sleepy. Oh, no, no, I ate my finger. Yeah, yeah. I'm Sarah. And I'm Kane's Mama Mia. Uh, and, and these, these are, are your breaking news. news. <laughs> <laughs> Time for our Bible story. Today we will learn about another prophet who lived a very long time ago. His name was Zephaniah. At that time, the people weren't really doing the right thing. The people were paying more attention to other things than God. Zephaniah, of course, heard from God, and God gave him a special message to give to the people. God wanted to tell the people that tough times were coming. God was angry and sad because of their choices. And those choices were going to lead to some very tough times. God loved the people, but the people failed to respect and love God. So God didn't stop the damage they had done. But God also wants to help us, protect us, give us what we need when things are hard. But we have to be paying attention and ready. When it's time to do what is right. Now that's great news. Absolutely, Mama Mia! <laughs> God wanted to warn the people using Zephaniah, the prophet. Zephaniah called for the people to pay more attention to God instead of other things. Whenever we are mad or upset or when times are tough, we can count on God. And that's what God wanted the people to know through the prophet Zephaniah. See you later. Bye, Mama Mia! No, <laughs> let's do some splits. <laughs> I'm still up. But I think I know what I need to do now. There's one option I didn't put up before. Pray to God. Let's see. Stomach ache from eating spoiled ice cream. Not sleeping because of scary dreams. Super tired from not sleeping. It's been a tough night. But when times are tough, I can count on God. Yep, that's exactly what I need to do. God, I'm having 
having a really tough time tonight. I'm not falling asleep and I need help. Please help me fall asleep. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I think that helped me. <sighs> I'm going to crash now. Catch you next time. The most lit vlog ever. Peace. Did you guys ever had a hard time with anything in your life? Maybe you had a hard time falling asleep. Maybe you had a hard time when you saw your parents fight or arguing. Maybe you had a hard time with your homework or a lot of load that you had to do for your school. Well, today we're going to learn from Prophet Zephaniah that we can count on God even in hard times. So Prophet Zephaniah, just like the other two prophets that we talked about, he is like a messenger. He heard from God and he related the message to people. Now, this time, God was very sad and he was angry. Why? Because people were not worshiping God. They were worshiping the false idols. Instead of putting God first in their life, they started putting other things before God. And do you guys remember our Ten Commandments that we learned last time during the road trip? That's right. The first commandment talks about putting God first. And the second commandment talks about worshiping God only, no idols. But they were not obeying God's command. Now, if you're not obeying God's command, are you going to the right path or wrong direction? You're going to wrong direction, which will lead you to destruction. That's bad. That's terrifying. So then God decided to bring his people back, Israelites. So God told prophet Zephaniah that he will bring judgment if the people don't turn away from their sin. But there was a hope. God was not there to point fingers at people. God was not there to hurt people. God our God is a loving God. He's there to lead us to the right path. And he gave us hope. And that was, if they came back, if they repent, and if they turned away from their sin, God said he will spare, that he will help them from their hard times. See, Gem 1, that was a good news, and that was a bad news. The bad news is that God was going to bring judgment. But the good news is that God will see people who comes back to him. All right. Do you think people listen? The answer is some people turned away from their sin, but some people did not. So Gem 1, hearing from our prophet Zephaniah today, do you think we should turn away from our sin? Or do you think we should just continue to walk to destruction? Disobedience. The answer is, we should always turn away from our sin and walk according to the will of God, God's command. Let's read our big idea today in count of three. Ready? One, two, three. When times are tough, I can count on God. Amen. See, in our lives, there are hard times. There are difficult times. There are times that we struggle, where we feel it's very, very tough and we can't do it on our own. When we see our parents fight or argue, it tears down our hearts. Or when we 
see that we can't fall asleep and you see the clock ticking every second ugh, makes us feel very anxious or when you see the load of homework that you have to do oh my goodness it's very very tough right but it says to count or not whatever it is you guys we gotta count on God and that means to trust in Him and that means to depend on Him that means to focus on Him knowing, believing that He is in control Amen? Amen Alright, at this time we're going to put our hands together we're going to close our eyes to pray Let us pray Dear God, we thank you so much for teaching us through Prophet Zephaniah. We learned today that even during our tough times, we need to trust in you. So Father, help us to have belief. Help us to have faith. Help us to always trust you even during the hard times. We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Lovely James, we're going to teach you this month memory verse. This month is very special. You need to memorize this verse with your family members. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so please follow after us. Ready, set, go. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter 16. Chapter 16. Verse 13. Verse 13. Okay, ready, go. Be on your guard. Be on your guard. Stand firm. Stand firm. In the faith. In the faith, be courageous, be courageous, be strong, be strong. Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Let's go a little bit faster, okay? Be on your guard, be on your guard. Stand for, stand for. In the faith, in the faith. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be strong. And be strong. Yeah. Okay, lovely gems. Try hard with your family members. God bless you. Bye. 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 All right, Gemon. It is time to give our offerings to God. When we are preparing our offerings. Remember, we have to prepare with thankful heart and wholeheartedly. God, good. And today we have Matthew Hajini. He's going to pray for us for the offering time. So once again, let's put our hands together. Let's close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Alicia Teacher with the Small Group Discussion Questions. I have four questions for you guys today to help you guys remember what we learned today. So let's start. The first question is, what can you tell me about Zephaniah? I'll give you guys around 15 seconds to think about it and um, I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, so Zephaniah was a prophet of God who God used to warn the people about what could happen because of their actions. Zephaniah urged people to turn to God before destruction came. 
Now the second question is, what was the good news? Good answers, you guys. So my answer is that the good news is when we lose our way or face some difficult times in our lives, like we all do, God doesn't go anywhere. He always patiently waits for us to turn back to God and then welcomes us with, with love and rejoicing. Now the third question is, the Bible verses we read in 1 Thessalonians tells us not to be like the others who are asleep. What do you think this means for you and me? Think about it and we'll get back to the answer. So, Zephaniah was calling for people to be different from everyone else around them by doing what God wanted them to do instead of what they wanted to do. Followers of God, like us, do the very things we've been talking about this month. They worship God with their actions in church and out of church. They choose to do what's right even when it's hard. And they know that even if they make a mistake, they can still count on God to love them and take care of them when things are difficult. Our last question is our application question. Let's think about how we can help each other to stay on the right path this week. Well, God doesn't want to be angry at us. God gave people warnings back then so they can quickly turn away from the wrong things that they were doing and return to God. So just like Zephaniah did, we can also help each other stay on the right path by being kind, forgiving, and truthful to one another. Happy Sunday, Gem One! So for today's Arts and Craft, our materials will be our coloring page, color pencils, markers, or crayons. Now, before we jump into today's activity, let's read what's on our coloring page. And in big letters, it says, Zephaniah's forecast, high levels of God's love to replace heavy rain. So, Zephaniah, our prophet, and high levels of God's love, the sun. And then the heavy rain, our clouds, and then on top, our big idea for today. So our big idea for today will be when times are tough, I can count on God.
All right, Gen 1, time is ticking. You might be thinking, Pastor Hannah, ticking for what? Time is ticking because we have not much time to prepare for a Christmas presentation, which means you need to hurry and send me your video clips of you singing praise. Remember the Christmas song that I sent to your parents a while ago? So if you haven't recorded yourself yet, please practice and record and send it to Pastor Hannah as soon as you can. All right, remember to participate and be part of our Lovely Gems worship on Wednesday and Friday nights. And stay tuned for question of the week or gem of the week. I'll see you guys next time. Stay healthy and stay safe. And make sure to obey God. All right? Awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Gemma the week. Yay! Lovely gems. Last week, we got a right answer from John Kim. So many. Thank you so much. Great job. And this week, our new question of the week is, what was it? We learned about a new prophet named Zephaniah. Yes, Zephaniah. And he heard from God. What kind of message did he, Prophet Zephaniah, told the Israelites? Oh, I see. So uh, what kind of message did the Zephaniah heard from God, right? Right. Okay, so today, who's gonna be the gem of the week? Okay, who wants to be Pastor John? All right. Let me Woohoo! Let me see. Where's that? Daniel Choi. Daniel Choi. Hey, Daniel, please write down. Okay, you can draw and send me your answer. Then we'll give you some gifts. Ooh, Daniel, it is your turn to All try. right. Lovely gems, have a great Sunday. Bye! Bye. Bye.